Good morning, class of 2018. I need to see some excitement or you're going to get the 25-minute speech. Say, if you show excitement, you might get the five-minute speech. So let's do the voice. How many of you want the five-minute speech? I'm not taking a vote on the 25. It went down. I call you guys the class of 2018, the class without limits. Do you know that is true? Let me give you a couple of examples. How many of you know your fellow student, Sarah Mack, pushed the boundaries of the traditional classroom? She studied in Cambodia, El Salvador, and China before returning back to Kane, USA. Give her a round of applause. And there were four then, there were four students for computer science who came up with two different applications, one to count the intensity of pollen. Well, there's one problem with that. They didn't create an app to automatically shut your nostrils when the pollen is coming. I could have used that today. Congratulations to the students of computer science. And then the best story is of an individual by the name of Baba Jade Ajisafi. They call him JD for short. JD emigrated from Nigeria when he was 42, and he wanted to get his degree in design here at Kane University. And the friends told him, and the friends told him, that by the time you get the degree, you're going to be over 50. Are you crazy? And he said, I'm going to be over 50 anyway. I might as well get an education. He is graduating here today. <clears throat> so the five-minute speech has a short quiz at the end, and it's about the five C's, and I'll be short. You heard the senator said, change, change, change. You can't stop change. Get ahead of change. Status quo is not in your best interest. Don't wait for the future to dawn on you. Make your own. That's C number one. You got it? OK. C number two is commitment. You have to commit to something much bigger than yourself. And if you commit to climb a hill, change it to a mountain. But above all, commit to your family and to the payroll that made it happen for you to be here. Just think about it for a second. Your parents probably took a mortgage on the house. They didn't go on vacation, so you can have a better life than they did. So stand up find them, and yell as loud as you can, say, thank you. <clears throat> and also, don't forget your professors on the first two rows. You got to thank them, too, because they accepted some of your excuses that I wouldn't have. The third C is courage. If you're afraid of failing, you'll never succeed. Are you with me? Don't worry about failing. Focus on learning from it to succeed. So C number three is the courage to take a chance. Do it and you can. And the fourth one is a very simple one. 4C, confidence. 
Okay, listen to me very carefully. I know how that works. When I came to this country, I had a dream to someday become the manager of a Kentucky Fried Chicken. That's true. Somebody give me the confidence to have the privilege of standing before you today. If you don't believe you in yourself, nobody will believe in you. You got it? See number four. And see number five is charity, generosity. It's not always about money. Sometimes it's about time. Sometimes about talent. But money is not bad. Just by graduating today, you will make a million dollars more than somebody who didn't get a college degree. So once you make your first million dollars, remember this face. I will find you and I'll ask you for a donation because you didn't get here by yourself. People helped you, correct? The charity also means generosity that makes you feel amazingly good. Just imagine you have the opportunity and the means to give somebody else a lift or hold the ladder to somebody, for somebody else to climb up. Generosity what makes human beings. Generosity is what makes Kane University students unique. So those are the five C's. You want to take the, five, the, the pop quiz? C number one? Say change. C number two? Commitment. Number three? Courage. Number four? Confidence. Number five? Charity. You just passed. Your degree is just official now.